Hey guys, so moving on to BH-4, which is this map. Uh, now this map can be really, really dicey just because of the amount of AoE that goes around. So you've got to be really careful with your deployments if you're not using a particularly high level team. So that said, the team I'm going in with, uh, as you can see, I've overhauled the bulk of the team with three, uh, four stars. Uh, my three star team just didn't have enough damage. Um, there may be a way to get about it with a three-star team. Uh, but what I'm doing, I'm running with two vanguards. So both two block vanguards, uh, two healers, one AOE, one single target. A good, nice single target art stealer. So Haze, or I'm actually going to swap Haze out for skill two. Uh, Haze or Armia. Uh, good single target sniper. Well, two good single target snipers, I should say. And a an AoE uh, sniper. I'm using Shiryuki for the arts damage and the slow. Uh, I'm also bringing Ethan again just because of his bind ability. A fast redeploy or... Uh, yeah, probably just a fast redeploy, I was going to say, or a tanky guard, but I don't think they'll redeploy quick enough. So I've got gravel with skill two. Uh, one tank, you don't need a healer tank. Uh, if you find that you're not killing enemies fast enough, you may want to bring someone like uh, Korra. Other than that though, I'm bringing a healing tank because it just helps with some of the AoE that goes around. And Utage with skill two. And Utage is basically our drop in and kill for a couple of enemies on this. But that said, what we're going to do is we're going to start yes. off with deploying Korea. And as you can see, we have two bosses. So not the most ideal map, as you can imagine. So we're all the way back by our home zone. And then we're going to deploy Cruz here. So she's out of range of Crown Slayer. Speed up. And then we're going to deploy Scavenger up here. Now as much damage as you can get on her, the better. Uh, you don't have to kill her if you do, sweet as. If you don't, don't worry about it too much. So Shiryuki in. And now we're going to grab this enemy before they get too close to Cruz. And we're also going to deploy in a healer facing up at Shiryuki. Cruz is on her own, unfortunately. After this, we're going to deploy Haze just here, facing up. Jessica here, facing up. So like I said, Cruz is on her own. There's not a lot we can do about that. And as we wait for deployment points, so now we're going to use our healer skill. And we are going to pop in Utage first once that uh, Arts caster gets off that tile so we can grab the boss. So right now. And we are going to deploy our second healer just here. And we're not going to use this skill. Skill 2 minus 75% health. That's just going to be absolutely diabolical for Haze. So now, once again, we're just waiting for deployment points and our healer, our tank, sorry, is going to go in here facing north. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter with Gummy. And just leaving everything in as is at the moment. 
So Crown Slayer is basically just going to walk straight through here. And Shiryuki skill. Ace skill. Uh, Ethan here facing down. It's really important you give yourself a little bit of a, well, a one cell gap in between your tank and Ethan. Heal a skill again. And now we're just waiting once more. So as you can see, the rates just kind of trot through here. So now what we're waiting for is basically boss to get back in range. So, Shiryuki is done. Crown Slayer has just jumped. I've been calling all the bosses Crown Slayer. Derp. Just had this massive memory gap. Healer skill. And then we're just going to pull out everyone who's not necessary. Utage in. Uh, Utage out. Bruce in facing down and Hazer's skill now because the boss will start attacking Cruz. That's it. Now it looks a bit janky and all over the place and I, I, I get that but uh, it's really just about juggling how you go like in my practice sessions before this I was getting uh, one of the bosses down. I can't even remember the name now. I've just derped so bad. Skull Shatterer. <laughs> so I was getting Skull Shatterer down on her first lap or his, his, hers. I'm not sure what the original Skull Shatterer was. Uh, but their first lap, I was getting them down. Obviously on that particular one, I didn't. It's just the way things happen to turn out. Uh, Crown Slayer is not particularly tough, but the more damage you can get on her from when she first goes into the tunnel, the better. Um, obviously the tougher sniper you bring, like I'm sure Exusia, for example, could probably get her down before she even goes into the tunnel, but yeah. Uh, sorry for the, uh, naming fluff. Uh, I was calling everybody Crown Slayer. I didn't actually realize it until I got to the end. But that said, guys, that's how you get through it. Uh, I did have to go up to four stars. I'm sorry, but if it helps, then please like, please subscribe, and please check out my Twitch. Stay tuned for more.